Deflation is finally starting to slow down in Pet Simulator 99, and it's most likely we're going to see prices begin to stabilize and probably begin to inflate again. With this, I want to tell you guys what you should be investing in. So hopefully you guys sold when I dropped my video, because since then we've seen prices drop from 25 all the way to 100% for some items, and now is probably the time when you should start buying again. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what you should be investing in right now before the update comes so that you could be well prepared and even make some diamonds. If you want to know when deflation is about to start or inflation, you can find out first in my discord. Link will be down in the description as well as the comment section if you would like to join. We are giving away a huge pet on there for absolutely free right now, as well as 5 million diamonds with absolutely no requirements. Remember to like the video and comment your Roblox username down below for the giveaway. And let me show you how you guys can make some diamonds. All right, really quickly, let me explain why I'm saying that deflation is coming to an end. At the time of recording this, we are no longer seeing Happy Rock sell at wrap price or below. This is indicating that the market is beginning to switch and people are starting to buy instead of sell. So it's most likely we are going to be seeing prices begin increasing really soon. Just as people panic sold and it was the reason why deflation was beginning to start, the same thing's happening now where people are panic buying. So this is a good indication that we're probably going to see the prices begin to inflate in the same exact way. Pretty much if you go anywhere around here, I cannot find a single Happy Rock that is selling for below wrap at the moment. Believe me, I've been to a lot. Same thing with the Gold Hell Rocks, all selling above wrap value. When I was recording the video yesterday, these were selling for over 10 million diamonds. Now they're selling for just under 7.5. It's most likely we're going to see those prices again. So if you want to invest in something like these or just the regular happy rocks, it's probably a good time to do it. Chest mimics have dropped all the way down to 87 million wrap, all the way from their highs of 179 million. That's over 50% of its value dropped in a single day. So if you were looking for a chest mimic, now is probably the time as these are now selling for over 100 million. I'd say it's almost impossible to find these for a hundred million. So if you could find these close to wrap right now, it might be a good time to buy. All right. So now we're going to get into the stuff that you should be investing in before this big update comes. Big games has released a lot of leaks for this, which is going to affect the market and what you should be investing in. It's probably good. We start with the exclusive enchants then. We can expect that the Diamond Chest Mimic as well as the Massive Comet are going to be leaving the exclusive shop in this next update. So picking up these, it'll be a good time to do that, especially since deflation is beginning to stop. This is a perfect time to pick these up if you were looking to invest in something like this. The Chest Mimic and the Lucky Block are also at their cheapest they've been in a really long time. So right now is probably a perfect time for you guys to invest in something like these. I personally just bought a Chest Mimic for this price. And I will be holding that through the update to help with the new mastery stuff as well as a lucky block book. So I think these are really good investments as well. The massive comet and the diamond chest are also more likely to go up since they are being removed in the exclusive shop. On a similar note, we have gotten leaks about tier 8 enchants being put into the game. So right now is a good time to be stockpiling all of your tier 7 enchants so that you'll be able to craft the tier 8 ones as they come out and put them up in the trading plaza if you have extra ones. I'm sure they're going to be selling for a lot of diamonds. With the deflation, diamond 7 has also dropped in price a little bit so it might be a good time to pick these up if you can find them for wrap value or a little below. As well as stuff like the Lucky Eggs books. Because people are going to try to be getting those new stat pets. They are going to need these books. And they probably sold them off before. So these are also likely to go up a bit. Moving on. Before every update there are certain things that just tend to go up in price. Because of the natural demand. Such as the coin potions. Because people are trying to get to the new levels as quick as humanly possible, they are going to buy these potions so that they could get there fast. So I typically see these jump up in price and if you see them below wrap right now, it might be a good time to pick up to sell on update day. Every week on Saturdays, we get the huge party in effect. So these potions usually go up the day before the update and those 12 hours leading up to the update. So 
Right now, these are super cheap. And if you watch my magic shard video, now is the perfect time to be doing the magic shard method to get your free overload charm and make a ton of profit. You could basically get these potions for like 145k if you buy shards at 9,000 each. So it's very lucrative to do right now if you're trying to make some extra diamonds right before this update. As well as the cocktail potion is always in demand on update day because people are trying to get through the levels as quick as possible. And this potion gives you the max amount of coin boost as well as walk speed which can help a lot when you're in that speed run. Some various items that usually do good on update day as well are like the TNT crate. Again, people just use these so they can get through levels as quick as possible. So these usually go up in demand on update day. So collecting these and not selling the ones you usually get is pretty much a good idea. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to go and buy these to invest in, but they are good to hold on to right before the update. As well as that, we will see new ranks added to the game so we can expect new rank missions. And as we know, the rank missions involve breaking pinatas so we might see these rise in price as well again we are going to see this last clan battle ending so i'm not sure how that's going to affect the pinata price i don't know if these are going to go down to the price they were previously before the clan battle so i'd probably hold off on these but it probably is good to keep a few just so you can do your rank missions in the new update in the same fashion is why you should keep some of these party boxes. These are really good if you need to do your rank missions because they can spawn the coin jars, comets, pinatas, and lucky blocks that you see in those rank missions. So if you don't have these, it might be good to pick some up right now, as well as the lucky blocks for your rank missions. Personally, I really like the new hoverboard. So this is something I bought a few of just to invest in because these are most likely going to be removed from the exclusive shop as well. And Robux to diamonds ratio wise, it kind of seems like it's a little underpriced right now. So if you can find these at like 4 million, I would buy a couple. Kind of just one of my personal investments. I'm not sure exactly how well it's actually going to do. Now, finally, this is probably the most controversial of my investment opinions. We have gotten confirmed leaks from the developer David from Big Games that most likely we're going to see the new charm removal item in this new pet simulator update, which is going to allow people to remove charms from their huges. A lot of people seem to think that this is going to make the charm prices fall, but I'm kind of on the opposite side here because... To me, it seems like if you're able to remove charms, people are going to be applying all sorts of charms to their pets, and it's only going to create more demand for them than there was before. So personally, I'm actually picking up some of these glittering charms and investing in them because they have dropped in price. I think some YouTubers have spread rumors that they think these are going to crash in price, so people started selling them for cheaper. So I'm using that as my opportunity to buy these up. Because I think more and more people will apply these to their pets if they know that they can remove them in the future. Because as you guys know, these glitter charms are really good when you are beginning the game. But they're not that good later on. So a lot of people are scared to even apply them to their huges. But now they're going to be doing that, which is going to drive up demand and lower supply. Which in any economy would then raise the price. So that's why I'm investing in this. I think other people are going to be using these lower tier charms as well now because of this update. So we'll have to see how much it actually costs to remove a charm from your huge pet. If it is sort of cheap, I think people are going to be using a lot more of these charms. So it's a good potential investment. Of course, this is all speculation, however. Don't take this as investment advice. This is just what I am personally doing with my diamonds. Also, really quickly, if you have a bunch of these rainbow toucans or, or even the rainbow sun angeluses, it's a really good time to sell these. And if you need to replace them, you should just go ahead and buy some exclusive pets so they scale with your best pet. Because as you guys know, when the new eggs come out in the new world, these pets are going to be completely worthless and nobody's going to be buying them. So selling them for 22k each right now is a good deal. Something like the Sun Angelus is probably selling for like 500,000 diamonds. 
definitely sell them before the update comes. Replace them with exclusives. So when the new update does hit, you all you have to do is buy one good base pet and all of those exclusives just base their damage on that. I'm pretty much losing my voice. I'm really sick right now. So I'm sorry if I'm not 100% for you guys. So I'm going to be ending the video here. If you have any questions about these, me and my team are answering all questions as well as you can be entered in for the giveaways. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Peace out.